Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys some of the best apps that I think you must have on your iPhone in 2025. Now, this is a collection of all the reviews that I've done on the apps in the past year and I have picked some that I think are very useful and you must have on your iPhone. Now, first of all is an app called Summarify. This is an amazing AI app that will allow you to summarize YouTube videos. It is very simple to use. You copy the link of the YouTube video, you come into the app, tap that button right there to paste the link, tap this red button, and in a few seconds here, you will have a summary of that video. You will see this like menu right here. So you will have a short summarization, you will have a detailed one, you will have bullet points right there, whichever one you want. So if I tap on short, you can see it will show me a short summary of that video. So you can see, we can go ahead and export this. We can summarize again if we want to. And you can see right here, it actually shows you how many minutes you have saved by not watching the video, but summarizing it right here. Now, if we go back, you will have also the option to go to bullet points right here. This one is also very, very cool. So it actually has some amazing features and the summary that it does is actually really accurate. Then right here, we'll have your favorites. If you have saved like any videos, you will have the history right here of the previous video that you have done. And then you will see right here how many minutes or hours you have saved by just using this app. Text Mask is the next app for the video. It allows you to mark up screenshots or any other photos, and it does that in a really cool way. It does it actually automatically, so you don't have to be that precise at all. If you wanna hide something, it actually does an amazing job. So all you have to do here is of course, pick a photo or a screenshot from your camera roll, so right here we have just loaded a screenshot and now I can go ahead and just hide anything I want here. So we can choose this option which basically allows us to hide any word we want there, any sentence or word as well. So you can see how cool that is. We will have the eraser right here if you wanna erase all of your changes. And then you will have here also a few different options. Instead of hiding something, you can maybe highlight something on that screenshot like that which is really awesome. Then you will have the strike as well. So if you wanna add a strike to a text or maybe underline a text, this is actually really cool. So you will have a few other options right here like using blur or, or pixelation or things like that, but that's the pro version. And then of course, once you're doing all these things, you will have also the option to choose the color of the highlights of the underlines, anything you want. Of course, you can choose the color. So if I wanna highlight, I can go ahead and just pick here any color I want to use for the highlight as easy as that. So it's actually really, really awesome. And you will also have here the option to detect word or line. So if I just wanna cover the complete line, I can just go ahead and do that like that. And of course, you will have the option to actually search text and then highlight it or maybe even hide it simply by searching the word you want. So if you have a specific word on a screenshot, you search it here and it will cover it in the whole screenshot. Final Cut Camera is the next app for the video. Now this is an app from Apple and it's one of the must have camera apps for your iPhone. It is actually really useful. So it's of course an enhanced version of the camera app of the iPhone with the pro features of Final Cut. So right here will have your lenses. Of course you can switch between these as easy as that. Tapping that arrow you will have all of your different options right here from the autofocus, you can switch there to manual focus if you want to. So you can see how easy that is and you will have all the other options here, the brightness and all that, right? They will have a button which lets you go to the zoom section and you will have the slider that actually makes zooming in and out really, really smooth. So you can see as easy as that, if I just tap like that, it goes slow, if I tap Right here, it goes faster, it's actually really cool. And one option that is actually very hard to find in other apps is the live multi-cam feature. So you will be able to connect up to four different cameras at once, which is really awesome. Next up is Grok. Now, this is a new app from X. It's basically their AI chatbot, and it's actually pretty useful. It's also very easy to use. I've just installed it yesterday, 
and you can see right here we have a few different options once you go into the app this is what you will see you will have like a few different things here suggestions of the things that you can do using this app so i can tap that suggestion if i want to create that in a few minutes here or maybe a few seconds we will have the result in this case we're creating an image so it's basically something like chat gpt but of course their own version and you can see what's the cool thing here that i really like is that once you enter a prompt it will actually show you different options so you can see right there it's now showing me like four different options for what i have requested and then right here you can just go ahead and add more so it will give you suggestions to things that you can add to your prompt in order to make your image or whatever you're creating even better which is really awesome now another thing you can do here is tablet plus button and you can create images from here or you can even add images from your photos your camera or your files and then create using those date range search is the next app for the video now this one is really interesting it allows you to set the date range for google search so if you have made a google search whether using safari or any other browser you, all you have to do is just copy the url of that google search open this app and this is all you will see in this app you tap that button and right here you can go ahead and set the date range so you can see right here i can go way back here if i just want to set like a specific date range for my search and then tap that button right there it will make that search but it actually will be only for the date that we have set there so you can see right here the date has been set and you can see all the like different results that we get from back to 2007 right there it's pretty cool actually to see all these like old posts that we have from the search that we have made so for anything you want you can just set a specific date range and search with google next up is long shot now long shot allows us to create screenshots of conversations or maybe even websites so you know on safari you can actually do that with the feature of safari but other browsers or anywhere else where you have like the scrolling page you won't be able to do that but you can do this with this app so you will have two different options you can take multiple screenshots and then stitch them together or you can start this app and then start recording a video from the screen recording option of this app and that will basically do the same so if we go to multi photo stitch right here we can just go ahead and load the screenshots so on a conversation on iMessage I took three different screenshots now I will turn that into one and of course it will stitch the conversation together which is pretty cool so tap here and load the screenshots so now that I have loaded the screenshots you can see how it will stitch all of them into one screenshot this is really awesome you will even have the option here to mark them up if you want to so if you want to add anything you can actually do that from here so it will have a few different options to mark up as well so maybe pixelate something or add text or anything you want next up is control bar now control bar allows you to control your music from the dynamic island or using the live activity feature so we can tap right here to start a live activity so we tap right here and we will have then the control bar right there so we can go ahead and actually control our music so we will have here the option to move forward and backwards and all that and of course you can even customize this these controls right here by tapping the edit button you will have here anything you want basically all the different controls you can add here all of them will be in one place so of course with the like feature of the music app on ios you will be able to only like play and pause or move forwards with this app you will have a bunch of other controls which again you can customize and choose whatever you want to see on your control so you will have a few different things here that you can add or remove from your actions wallcraft is the next app for the video now this is a wallpaper app which in my opinion is one of the best wallpaper apps that you can get on your ios device a lot of times on my videos i get comments about my wallpapers most of them are actually from this app so you can see the app right here this is the home screen where you will find first of all the popular wallpapers you will find here new popular random and the hot wallpapers as well and then you will have different options here you can go to the live wallpapers you will have like a 
thing here for the exclusive wallpapers and wallpapers for icons as well which is actually really awesome you will have frames and dynamic island as well now what's really cool about this app is that when you actually go to wallpaper it will show you like other wallpapers that are similar to that one that way you can actually discover a ton more wallpapers so as you can see right here, once we open a wallpaper, just underneath here, you will find a ton of others that are similar to that one. That way you can just continue browsing a ton of wallpapers in this app. Of course, once you want to download one of them, you can just tap this button right here. You can favorite it here, or you can see how it looks on your device by tapping that button. Next up is Moyo Widgets. Now this is an awesome widget app for your iPhone. Now in this video, I tend to just like pick an app from each category and when it comes to widgets this is one of the best that you can get so once you open the app you will have the for you section right here you will find if you like new widgets that have been released the app gets updated all the time with new widgets so you will have the new ones right here then you will have ones for photos if you want to display photos on your home screen then you will have your icon launchers right here. you can see these animated ones they're pretty cool so you will have task progress to-do list the x borders these are also very awesome displaying a ton of different like information regarding your iphone and all that so you can see how cool these are and you will have other ones for like time sports and all that so if you find one that you found like helpful or you just want to add it to your device you can tap on it from here of course you can go ahead and customize here the text you can customize the background you can also choose to have a transparent background now to set a transparent background for your widgets all you have to do is go to your home screen go to the edit mode take a screenshot right here of the page that is blank you go back into the app and from here then you go to settings and then just tap right here on transparent widget tutorial go here load the the screenshot you just took and you're good to go and last but not least is an app called toolbox this is a simple app yet it's very useful you can actually do a lot with this app so you will have a few different things that you can do within this one app first of all we have random things here things like maybe a coin flip right here is pretty cool then you will have a wheel spin maybe you will have here build splitter you will have a code scanner if you want to you will have different things like word count if you just want to count the words on a text you can paste it here we will do that for you then you will have an image resizer and an image converter you will have different calculations right here different conversions so you can convert like a different units so it's actually a simple app but very very useful as it allows to do a ton of things in one place so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video smash that like button if you did and subscribe for more if you want to download any of these apps you will find them linked right down below in the pinned comment thank you for watching and i will see you on the next one